Who is Kevin O'Brien? I'm a very well-rounded pastry chef. I started out my career working for Sarah Levy at Sarah's Pastries and Candies. I worked in hotels. Uh, I was the pastry chef for Sienna Tavern, part of Dynamic Group. And currently I'm the executive pastry chef for Jewel Events Catering, the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, and the Lyric Opera of Chicago. How did your career as a chef begin? My career as a chef began um, when I started culinary school. Prior to culinary school, I was an actor and I was in school for theater. And I decided that if I didn't become famous, that I wasn't going to be happy. So um, to be a little more realistic, I thought about what else I was good at, and that was baking and pastry. Um, so I switched to uh, culinary school in New York, and uh, the rest is history. The um, how I started out baking and paste, doing baking pastry was with my two grandmas and my mother. I started baking at about five years old, and continued to do it uh, up until I went to culinary school and decided to make a career of it. What is your favorite dish on your current menu? My favorite dish on the current menu is um, I absolutely love yuzu. So we have a yuzu bar with a vanilla de croix base, uh, some Swiss meringue kisses piped on top, and a hibiscus coulis. What are your three favorite places to eat in Chicago and why? My top three favorite restaurants in Chicago are Siena Tavern, because it's the best Italian food in the city of Chicago. Ping Pong, which is a Thai restaurant that's around the corner from me, so it's very convenient. And the, uh, the food is just absolutely amazing and the service is great. And my third favorite restaurant is uh, Band of Bohemia, which is owned by a friend of mine, Craig Sindelar. Uh, and it's very, very eclectic uh, food and the presentation is fantastic. What are the top five used spices in your cooking? My top five favorite spices to use while baking are cardamom, uh, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and vanilla bean. What is your favorite dish or top three dishes? My favorite dishes are, I absolutely love pizza, and on the pastry side, really anything made with yuzu or chocolate. What's your top kitchen cooking trick? My top kitchen cooking trick is uh, when you're baking, you want to have your eggs room temperature because it's easier for them to emulsify into whatever you're making. So you want to have them room temperature. And if you ever forget to take them out and leave them out for a couple hours, you can put them in some warm water for about 20 to 30 minutes. Who is the best chef in Chicago? The best chef in Chicago is Ken Biffer. He's the corporate chef for Dynamic Group, Sienna Tavern and Bar Sienna. What's the kitchen gadget you couldn't live without? The kitchen gadget I couldn't live without is the Immersion Blender. Who are the top three chefs in the world? The top three chefs in the world are Ken Biffer from Sienna Tavern, Thomas Raquel from Le Bernardin in New York, and Daniel Ballou. What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten or cooked? The weirdest thing that I've ever eaten is um, when I was in Norway, I went to a traditional Christmas brunch at a friend's and we had an item called rockfisk, which is trout that's salted and fermented for three months. Uh, it's not cooked at all, um, just through uh, brining it's cooked. And it is probably the only food that I wasn't uh, able to finish because it just tastes disgusting. But Norwegians like it. Do you cook on your days off? I do cook and bake on my days off. Uh, generally not for myself, but if uh, friends are coming over for dinner or if there's a special event with friends, um, people always ask me to, to bake for it and I happily oblige. What is your guilty pleasure dish? My guilty pleasure dish or food, it's hard to narrow it down, but I would probably say pizza. If possible, what advice would you give yourself in your first years of being a chef? The advice I would give to myself is uh, an abbreviation, K-I-S-S, -S, so KISS, and that stands for Keep It Simple Stupid. Um, I tend to overthink things, um, not as much as I did when I was younger, but I would, I would tell myself, Kevin, just keep it simple and don't overthink things when it comes to writing menus or executing a dish. Um, and then that could also extend to plating. Um, 
you know, you don't have to put 5,000 different things onto a plate. You can just uh, have maybe four components and, uh, you know, just make those four components the best components and, uh, and keep it simple. Is there anything you would like to say to our viewers or tell them about? I made my Food Network debut in September on a TV show called Baker Bingo, which is set to premiere in the next few months. We don't have a, a, a premiere date yet. Um, I'm the executive pastry chef of Jewel Events Catering, and so Jewel has uh, many different branches. We do all the food for the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. So we opened up a restaurant at CSO called Opus, which is at 65 East Adams in Chicago. Um, it's doing very well. The food is great, and the desserts are amazing. Um, we also do the food for Lyric Opera, and um, after a holiday break, they open up in a couple weeks as well. If you would, go ahead and hit that like button as it helps us to continue to make content just like the video you just watched. Also, hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon to stay up to date with our latest videos as we release them. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.